Hello, beautiful. You know, there are so many different suspects in the Summer Wells case. And so I began to go through the comments. And a lot of them were asking questions about different people that have had some connection or contact with Summer before she disappeared. Or they would have had access to this child. Um, and I came up with like 20 so I thought, why not take these? Yeah, it says Jody Sue's son, um, Youth H. Let's see what else. Jose R. All right, so you get the feel. We're going to lay out the cards. I'm going to shuffle them. I'm going to lay out the cards, and we're going to do one energy at a time. We're going to pull three cards for each suspect in the case in correlation as to if they are connected to the disappearance of Summer wells so it will be interesting to see what the cards show us and for those of you that are new to us i want to say thank you so much for joining us we are a true crime tarot community drama free as they say um we're just here for light and love we're all here for the same thing and that is that we want to bring justice for summer um i've been asked do i personally think that um, money should be sent to so-and-so. I will tell you this much. I make the choice to personally not enable anyone to continue a bad way of life. I'm here to enable people to find their higher vibration in life. So I will not be donating or funding anyone um, that I feel would not use it for their higher good. I don't know if some of you know what I'm talking about. I'm going to leave it there. As far as those of you that are returning, welcome home. I love you so much to my 1111 family. And talking about my 1111 family, y'all are beautiful, by the way. Ginny sent us. Do you see all the piles of sticky notes back here, lovelies? Yeah, like, we have enough sticky notes to do a lot of sticky note readings. She sent me a beautiful little letter as well. I want to say thank you so much, Ginny, for always being so supportive of the channel and our family here and are you guys ready to dig in i think we should get it on the board right all right my lovely Luz. i think we're ready to go i did receive one other gift robin ann my my soul sister she got us the little hear no evil see no evil speak no evil babies and think no evil are they not the cutest things you've ever seen in your life Anyway, they now are here with us. Okay, y'all. All right, y'all. <laughs> yeah, my Southern comes out once in a while. All right, I've got us this beautiful deck. It is called Healing with the Angels. And this was my Nana or Bananas deck. I thought we'd pull a blessing before we start. This just gives us a little bit of understanding of love, you know, and how we got to handle everything like right now. We need answers for Summer Wells, you know. And we're going to say a little prayer and ask for those answers. We got abundance. So something very abundant is coming in. All right, abundance. Well, and everybody's separated right now for a little think tank session, right? We have listening. Well, that's a light colored card. You can barely make it out. And then finally, we have celebration. Oh, no, there's a guardian angel underneath. How beautiful. So we have celebration. And then we have our secret card that I didn't even know we had, which is guardian angel is bringing something in. And that might be for your personal life, or it might be something to do with this case. We'll just have to wait and see. Okay, lovelies, if you have, whoa, 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 shh. If you have your headphones on, I would highly recommend slipping them off. I'm about to hit this little breast bowl three times. And it's just to ring in the frequency of truth. And with that, you might want to join me. Here we go. Three, two, one. Archangel Raphael, Archangel Michael, Archangel Gabriel. Thank you so much for the abundant healing, Archangel Raphael. 
that I feel clean as a whistle with no ailments, and that you continue to provide this beautiful healing of my body, my spirit, and my energy, that you reach out your healing and offer it to my 1111 family if they have any ailments and allow them to heal spiritually and physically as well as emotionally. Archangel Raphael, I thank you for all of this gift that you give to us. Archangel Michael, I thank you for holding my hand as we walk through the tarot, that no weapon, spiritual or physical, will manifest anything against me. Nothing shall prosper against me. I am highly favored, and I appreciate that abundance of protection. Archangel Gabriel, thank you so much for the abundant information that you are about to share with us as we reveal what it is that each of these individuals has in connection to the disappearance of Summer Moon Utah Wells. Please show us the truth and only the truth. I appreciate the truth and I believe and I trust what you show me. I thank you for the abundance, for the gifts, for the kindness, for the protection, and for all of your beautiful guidance. I don't know, you guys. I feel sideways a little bit, like I was being distracted by even the clocking, clocking, the tick of the clock. Like somebody's trying to distract my energy. So Archangel Gabrielle, please focus me. Archangel Michael, please protect me. All right, let's see who comes out first. Donnie. Daddy Donnie. Daddy Donnie. We have several Dons. This is Donnie boy. This is Summer's dad. So we're going to put him right here. We're going to put these over here. And we're going to pull out three cards. Now, I am being guided to use the Chakra Wisdom Tarot. Also, I'm wearing a lot of real jewelry, real stones in order for protection right now. Because going through the suspects, I figure one out of 20 is probably one we're looking for, to be honest. So we got two cards with Donnie. We got the Ace of Cups, which is really worrying about oneself and working for Donnie. So self cup of love and working. A lot of red love on the board. Let's get one more for Donnie or three. Ten of Swords. the death card and another ace of coins. So we have two aces, which makes the 11 stands for justice. We have 10 swords in the back for daddy, which is complete betrayal. And this is the second time I've gotten the 10 swords and the death card with summer and daddy. Than mastery. Wow. Talk about starting a reading off in a very strong way. Donnie. We'll turn these and we'll put them right like this so we can retrieve them again. Okay. Holy crap. <sighs> okay. Let's see who's next. If this gets too long, we can break it apart. This is going to be a heavy reading. Jose. Jose R. Let's see what we have. We're going to use th uh, the Chakra Wisdom Tarot. We got one card. Seven of Cups. Confusion. He added to the confusion. Okay. What else for Jose? Thank you. Judgment, which means yes, confusion. Judgment is he confused the situation. He contributed to the, wow, the toxicity, the devil card. Five of coins, feeling left out in the cold. And five of cups, regret. That's some strong cards, y'all. So this confusion and a judgment, yes, very confusing, very toxic, and strife, five and a five, definitely regret, 
and definitely making someone feel left out in the cold like Donnie. Wow. Well, isn't this interesting? I always feel like Dana Carvey when I get like some aha moment and I'm like, wow, 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 wow. Okay. Let's see who comes up next. Okay. I can only take one at a time. So we're just going to, we're going to go through the whole thing anyway. My nose is itching. We have Church Robin is up next. Oh, I'll put her up here. My nose is seriously itching. Oh, let's move Summer's candle just a little bit so y'all can see that. Okay. Church Robin, Summer Wells, Disappearance of Summer Wells, Church Robin. Three coins cooperating, working together. Could be trying to help. We'll find out. Two of Cups, true love. She truly loved that baby. And she's trying to help, y'all. Let's get one more card for Robin. Seven of Wands, feeling protective of this energy. Feeling protective, working together, and Two of Cups. And she's actually shown up for the vigils for this child. She's thrown birthday party on sixth birthday for summer. Did the parents show up? No. So, Church Robin, to me, is clear. That's just by what the cards are showing. Okay, let's go again. Who is it? All right, who is this? Rose Bly. Rose Bly, for those of you that do not know, is Summer's aunt that went, dis went uh, that disappeared, went missing in 2009 in Wisconsin, no less. Some say she's still alive and believe that she may have taken Summer to protect her. So I wrote it up. Rose Bly, show me three cards for Rose Bly. First card is Ten of Cups, emotional satisfaction. There is blessings here to be had. It is true love. It's everything. Summer means everything to Rose. Okay. What else? I'm not getting anything on Rose, y'all. Nothing. Okay. There it comes. Ace of Wands. This aha with the Princess of Sword watching. The Princess of Sword is somebody that watches over another person could see it as a stalker but in this case it's a child by an aunt I mean an aunt to a child so I would see this card very clearly as watching over for happiness and something happened that she witnessed with this aha moment so that's Rose Bly okay let's see who is next Let's turn Rose so that she's in line. So far, Donnie definitely has my attention. And Jose is not cool either, if you ask me. He did cause a lot of confusion. Weird. That made a crazy sound. I don't know if it got picked up. Oh, y'all are going to go off to feed on this. Neighbor Don's son, the one that got caught with all the child pornography or whatever. Neighbor Don's son. Let's see what it says. Hmm. What in the world? I have the Princess of Cup, an offer being made with the Ten of Cups. I'm sorry, Ten of Coins, Pentacles, the home. Causing three swords. Whoa. So I have this Princess of Cups. It's a small little offer from a young energy. Has to do with the home. This is the everything. The home life. The Ten of Pentacles. It represents the home. The stability of the home. Grandma, Grandpa, everybody. The dog, the cat. This is home. So we have this young princess offering a cup about the home and then I have three swords total heartbreak we're going to move him 
right up here so that we can review these two at a later date. All right, that's interesting. Let's continue. See who comes up next. Let the universe choose it. All right, who do we have? Jody Sue's son. All the sons are coming up, aren't they? I mean, we're being fair. We're doing all neighbors. Anybody that was around summer. Jody Sue's son and connect. Oh, shoot. Nine of Cups. Inebriation. Jody Sue's son in connection to Summer Wells' disappearance. Jody Sue's son connection to Summer Wells' disappearance. The high priestess, you already know something that's not being said. What is it? Three of Cups celebrating. Nine of Cups, wish fulfillment. Inebriation, inebriation. You know it. There are drugs. There is either drugs or alcohol. Somebody is inebriated. We're going to put this suspect over here. So I'm going to rule out Church Robin off this reading. I'm going to rule out Rose Bly. We're going to push these guys off. We're going to keep the suspects that have my eye down here. And maybe in part two, we're going to come back and qualify the ones that we have questions on. Part two will be tomorrow night, though. All right. This just tells me who we're going to be really doing the reading about. This is part one, so. <coughs> Excuse me so very much. Forgive me. Okay, here we go. It's getting to where there's not enough cards to... We'll just grab one pretty quick here. What do we got? Church David. Everybody know who Church David is? He's the gentleman that responded first from the outside to the property to the Summer Wells. He joined the church approximately, I think it was a little under 10 days before. He did not... Um, Summer pulled away from him in a moment of filming. So there's a video, or there was, of Summer sitting with, I believe, Robin in a pew at church. And David does one of them sneaky little waves. And Summer, who loves everyone, pulled her energy back from David. Now, he is a mortician. Doesn't mean that he had anything to do with this. But we're going to find out. Because he went to the property before anybody else. Candace called him and Robin. So why is the mortician and the church lady getting called when summer goes missing first? Six of Cups, return of the past. He knew this child from the past or he knew this family from the past. That's from the past. So there is a previous relationship. I don't know what it is. Four of Wands. Perfectly aligned with this um, commitment. Feeling committed to this. That's my marriage card. King of Wands, being fully committed at the time to the King of Wands with this past. Did he have did he have knowledge of Don Wells somehow before this? This is a relationship here. So he's King of Wands, Four of Wands. He was doing what he felt he should do. I don't feel he harmed Summer. Whoops, I knocked over my little baby that speaks no evil. Okay. Um Six of Cups, Four of Wands, and King of Wands. King of Wands is a very much standing in your own power. It's somebody that takes charge, knows what they want, and goes and gets it. And he felt this was aligned with, his involvement was aligned with the divine. And it had to do because of children, like protection of children, maybe. Hmm. We'll leave him there for now. I don't feel he had something to do with her, her disappearance. So I'm going to hold it over here. He may have something to do with her disappearance in the way she disappeared. But I'm talking about initial issue. You know, what went wrong where. Okay. Jose's card keeps sliding around there. Let's see who's next. Don's sisters. Now, Don made the comment one time, maybe maybe the sisters would have grabbed Summer thinking they were doing her good, protecting her. All right? I told you, I tried to think of everybody, and I went through the comments. Don's sisters, in connection to the disappearance of Summer Moon, Utah Wells. Don's sisters, first card, six of wands, feeling 
a little bit of I told you so, a little victory there. Feeling like the child is spared something, perhaps. It's a victory card. And it could be because they've got a court case. Yeah, it's about court. Queen of Swords is court. That's who I see as the, you know, she cuts a, she cuts right to the chase to the truth. And in this situation, the, do, the sisters will be victorious and they speak the truth according to the cards of what they are speaking of with Dawn. Show me one other card. Queen of Coins, the money. They will be steady. And this is two queens, the Queen of Sword and the Queen of Coins. This is a powerhouse of, of victory. Don's sisters will be victorious over him. But they did not have anything to do with the disappearance of Summer Moon Utah Wells, according to the cards. All right, guys, who's next? We'll just grab one. Neighbor Don, so not his son. And um, it's him we're looking at. All right. He's got that girlfriend that lives up in there that's neighbors to Summer. And this is him, okay? This isn't this isn't dad. This is the neighbor Don. Don S. Let's see what we have on Don S. Show me the disappearance of Summer Moon Utah Wells with the neighbor Don energy. Any involvement? Lovers. So we already know he's in love with the woman. Okay, so lovers, he's there visiting his lover. We know that that's the truth, Ace of Sword. And he's actually giving to two. He may uh, be helping someone else on the property. There's a lot of clarity here. There's a decision to be made. Um, he, One of them two may have another lover, but I do not see anything that draws my attention. We'll move him up. Not in this reading anyway. We're going to move him down here. Don's sisters didn't have anything. So we'll just keep scooching this around. All right, who's next, y'all? Let's see. Jody Sue herself. Okay. Jody Sue, what do you know? Jody Sue, did you have any involvement with the disappearance of Summer Moon Utah Wells? Jody Sue's involvement with the disappearance of Summer Moon Utah Wells. The Emperor! Holy cow! Holy cow! Are you kidding me? Boom! Boom! Shakalaka! The story's coming out! The Emperor! Jody had involvement with the Emperor, who had involvement somehow with the disappearance of Summer Moon Utah Wells. Are you kidding me? Princess of Coins. It's all about the money. Hold on. Single energy. Oh, we're digging deeper. Look at that Emperor pop right out with Jody Sue. Princess of Coins trying to make a buck. Now single. Now the Coins always is a single card. Jody Sue is single. So is Andy. All right, let's go, let's go. Let's continue. Let's see who is next. Like I said, we'll be qualifying the bottom row. And maybe some of this row if we find out that there's reason to. Who's next? I'm trying to be fair and get everybody on the board. Grandus, you are up. The price is right, Grandus. All right, let's get these back in order. And let's see, Grandis, did you have anything to do with the disappearance of Summer Moon Utah Wells? Nine of Wands, trying to protect yourself and how far you've healed. Trying to protect yourself and heal, Nine of Wands. What else, Grandma? Come on, disappearance of Summer Moon Utah Wells. Thank you. Knight of Coins. There's a dark night you know about. A young energy. Somebody that is the queen of coins and the king of coins is the parents didn't see, did not see this, overlooked this. This knight of coins overlooked this little energy and grandma is protecting that situation. She knows. She knows. She didn't do anything to him, but she damn sure knows about the situation. 
So I've moved her to the top because she knows. We got it. We get it. Grandma knows. All right, let's see who's next. There's not many cards left. Summer's Brothers. We've got to be fair to everybody. We want justice for Summer. We have to keep asking. Summer's Brothers. Did you have anything to do with the disappearance of Summer Moon Utah Wells? The Magician. The Manifester. The Manifester. Okay. What else about this manifestation? What are you manifesting? A new beginning. They are manifesting a new beginning. They are walking away from that old world. They are walking away and finding their happiness in life. And justice will be served. They are manifesting a new beginning that brings in happiness for the sun. And justice will be served. I will leave it at that for the brothers. We will. We will because of past readings. We will bring them in. And with that justice card, I've got to understand it further. So we're going to leave them on the questioning side. All right, let's do what's next. Like there's only a few left, so we're just going to switch them up. Grab one, because we're going to do them all. Jackie D, if you do not know who this is, this was some guy. I didn't quite even understand it. He was trying to sell the wrong property, which he didn't have the rights to. His land was somewhere else. He got land mixed up, and he was in the area when Summer disappeared, according to my understanding. And a lot of people have had a lot of questions about Jackie D. I got six of swords moving to calmer grounds. He just wanted out of there because it was hot. It was, it was too drama. It was too rough. Yep, he had to make a decision. He's got a lot of cards here, y'all. He had to make a decision about this and go to calmer grounds because he had some deep feelings about the burdens back there and the strife that he went through. He had strife with everybody. And it caused a lot of triggering for him. It was like he got in there and it was this battle and of burden. And he's like, no, I'm not going to do it. But do I see him interesting? No, I truly don't. So we're going to keep him up here. Next. Let's see who's next, y'all. Who's next? Youth H. If you don't know who H is, H was the youth that went swimming allegedly with Summer, allegedly on June 15th, the day she went missing. He was the teenager friend that Candace allegedly picked up. Nine of Swords, he's in a nightmare, a prison, a true mental prison. He uh, can't eat, he can't sleep, he is in an emotional hell. Why? Show me this. What happened? Was he involved with the disappearance of Summer Moon Utah Wells? How was Summer involved with Hunter on the day of her disappearance, if any? King of Sword, the law, and closing a cycle. This is cutting something out and closing a cycle. He has a nightmare about this King of Swords, which really is Taurus, Aquarius, Gemini, Capricorn energy closed a cycle. A king closed a cycle and he must know about it. Hmm. He's in. All right. Y'all want me to put him down here, but I'm not seeing it. Oh, my babies. I got to move them y'all. So I don't keep bumping my little see no evil, hear no evil. Think no evil babies. All right, y'all. Let's keep going. What do we got? Allison. H's mother. The teenage's mother. This was a friend of Candace's at one time. I've heard they were quite close. I won't go into details. All right. Allison, what did you have to do with the disappearance, if any, of Summer Moon Utah Wells? What do we have? Two of Wands. Just feeling stuck. Feeling like you shoulda, woulda, coulda. Just feeling stuck. Making the wrong decision. 
something is right. Like what? Just feeling stuck. She actually had very little to do with any of this. Like I don't even think she was involved with as much as she spoke of. Yeah. She believes that this child is laid to rest and that's all she knows. She's got the star, the Aquarius energy in the lay to rest and the feeling stuck about it. Like she doesn't know a damn thing. She just wants attention. That's what I heard. Allison just wants attention. She's out for me. You guys may feel differently, um, but I truly am going with my intuition. Got to do that, you know. All right, next, Dudley. Now, for those of you that are kind of familiar, the name rings a bell. Dudley was the fired co-worker of Don Wells on the 14th. And Dudley had a lot to say in his interview, such as that more happened on the 14th than the 15th. And Don lied about it. Like Dudley was fired on the 14th, which they both agree on. But Dudley says that was the day that Don Wells drove the red Subaru was the 14th on Monday. And that Don didn't even go to work on the 13th, which was Sunday. And he was supposed to, and he was a no-call, no-show. So we have this out of balance in between the worlds. Something's out of balance that he sees or he feels. He feels like something's like thrown for a loop. Wow, look at that energy, y'all. Seven of Swords. He feels liar, cheater, thiefer is out of balance. He knows about this liar, cheater, thiefer out of balance. What is this? Thank you. Eight of Wands, communication. Yeah, he's in full communication. He's He cares. He does care about the situation. That's the Knight of Cups come racing in. He cares and he's communicating. We all know that. And he's telling us about the lies that were told. The Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords in Tarot is always the liar, cheater, thiefer. And how out of balance the liar, cheater, thiefer is. That's Dudley telling us that. So that checks completely out for me. Who's next? Neighbor Andy. If you're wondering who this is, Jody Sue called him Voldemort. This was who she was attached to for God knows how long. Neighbor Andy. Let's see. Any involvement with the disappearance of Summer Moon, Utah Wells? Andy, any involvement with the disappearance of Summer Moon? Oh, boy. Holy, holy, holy crap. Holy crap. Tell you about that King of Pinnacle right there. Married to the Queen of Pinnacle. They're all about the land. Uh-huh. Neighbor Andy. Fighting for your life. This is a fight to win at all costs. At all costs. What's going on here with neighbor Andy? The chariot! Holy, holy, holy crap. What? Y'all, I can't even make this up. Even if I tried. Look how the distance I've gone to make sure I'm not playing favors. Why did the Emperor come out with Jody? Why does the Chariot come out with Andy? Why does Five of Swords fighting, fighting to you the death? And the landowner. Boom. Drop the mic, walk away. Holy cripe. Y'all, I'm telling you. We got Fred H. Now, Fred H is also a neighbor. Um, I believe another YouTube went up. Tried to get an interview. He kind of played with them a little bit. He's he's silly like that. Um, I feel he did it on purpose. I feel like he's shenanigans. Um, he's protective of his hauler. Let's see. Did he have anything to do with the disappearance of Summer Moon Utah Wells? Oh, and just so you know, Fred said, and that's all it is, is words. We don't know if it's true or not, that he claims that Don got all weird that day and that the dogs tracked onto Fred's property only after Don had been there. What the hell? Why do I have the Empress with Fred? Why do I have the Empress with Fred? Because the Empress is summer. Show me. 
Archangel Michael, new perspective. Did he help with the, um, we're going to get a different deck. We're going to come back to him. I feel like he may be an accessory to the cleanup. Look at that. All major arcanas. Fred, you have my full-blown attention. I'll put you right there with your neighbor, Andy. Next, last card, Candace, Mama Candace. I only have this many cards left. I'm not getting a new deck because I only want the cards used once. The Divine knows how to work these cards. The ones that come out have to come out on the right spot. Candace, did you have any... What did you have to do with the disappearance of your daughter, Summer Moon Utah Wells? What did you have to do with the disappearance of... Oh, my God. Princess of Wands. Hold on. I just got the whole damn story. I'll give it, yep, the tower. The tower moment. She knew what happened to the Princess of Wands. Come on, what happened? Show me, and I know we're not going to get it in this stack. We've already had the hermit at the house. It's at someone's house. The tower at the house. What about the tower at the house? The Queen of Wands. Okay, I got to quit. All right. This is Candace. She's definitely in question. So, who I feel is in question is Don, Daddy Donnie. Jose, I want to look at. Jody Sue's son, for sure. Neighbor Don's son. Jody Sue. Summer's brothers, Youth H, Candace, Fred H, and Neighbor Andy. Now, I'm going to take away Jackie D. I'm not seeing it, y'all. I'm taking away Grandis. I feel she knows, but I do not feel she's contributing. Don's sisters came out clean. The neighbor Don came out clean. Dudley came out clean. I mean, he's obviously sharing about the liar, cheater, thief. Believe it or not, I'm not getting anything on Church David. And Allison... I think she knows what happened in her mind with this energy. Like she's been told that this child was laid to rest. It left her stuck because I don't think she knows how she wants healing to come in for summer. Church Robin, I see absolutely nothing but protection and true love. And same with Rose Bly. So y'all, I've narrowed down all of these people. And I feel... On our next reading here, we're going to get some blessing cards to close this read off. But tomorrow night, if you'll join me, we're going to jump right back into where we're leaving off. And we're going to find out a lot more about all these energies, right? I mean, really, look at the cards that came out with some of these people. Just shocking. How can the chariot... And the emperor still come out when I suspect that this child had a collision with a vehicle. And it's coming up over there with Andy. Hmm? Mm hmm hmm Well, we're going to find out. Let's get some blessings, y'all. Are you ready? I say, we shall, we shall. All right, lovely. Let's get some blessings and we'll pick up tomorrow night. We'll have a cliffhanger for the night. I've got to recharge. Anyway, that was an immense amount of energy. Thank you for your time with me. It's emerged. Yep, only the tip of the iceberg has come out. There is so much more to be shared. So much more is hidden underneath. But we have dawn, new beginning. Make you wonder if there's some new beginning with dawn being put in jail, right? About summer, the clarity. Oh, yeah. A new beginning. As the nightmares trickle in on Don. I would not care to be left in my head with him. I am going to leave you with a question. All right. I just want to ask you what do all these people have in common? Donnie himself, Candace, neighbor Andy, Youth H, Jody Sue, Jody Sue's son, 
neighbor Don's son, and Jose. Now, I'm going to leave Summer's brothers out of it for just a minute. What do all these people have in common? They all are into that lifestyle. They're the Muffin Mafia. That's what I feel. Is that what really triggered Candace? Is this the little mafia she's worried about? The little mountain mafia. Maybe there's a Ben Hill Mafia, and it's an unspoken law between Fred H. and Andy, and maybe Jose came in rifling feather, feathers of those territorial people, and just maybe Jody Sue knows all about it. Maybe Don's son may know about it. We never know. Maybe they even started grooming Youth H in this, and that's what has him in his head. But I will tell you this. We're going to come back. And we're going to div, dive, deep dive, if you will, into this tomorrow night. I want to thank you so very humbly for your time. If you felt this was a good investment of your time, kindly tap the like button. I love you all so very, very much. I do, I do, I do. I love you. To the summer moon, Utah Wells and back. God bless you all. And I hope to see you for part two tomorrow night.